Everybody, welcome back to Lyrical Resonance, where we believe that where words fail, music speaks. I'm excited because Fight the Fade just dropped a new song uh, about a month ago called Cut and Run after they signed with the Fixed record label. Um, I know very little about Fix, but I am excited for Fight the Fade because they definitely deserve that kind of recognition. They are one of the most creative and honestly just fantastic bands around, so I'm excited to get into this. Uh, if this is your first time watching, thank you so much for taking the time to get into this. I really do appreciate it. This is not the first time we've checked out Fight the Fade. You can check out some of the videos over here that I've done for them. Um, but I'm excited to get into this, so if this is your first time watching, thank you so much for taking the time. I really appreciate it. If you like what you see by the end of this, I'd ask you hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel because where words fail, music does speak, and we're going to continue listening to what it has to say here at the channel. So let's do that now with Fight the Fade and their song Cut and Run. <laughs> I see okay. you in the sunlight Wiping your eyes But you don't know The mess I'm in Every choice that I make Seems like a mistake This life Sounds really good. Wow. Oh, this is so cool. This is this is quite possibly one of their most energetic and like high octane songs they've released yet and holy buckets does it pay off i was you know i always kind of like get worried when i see a band that was formerly independent sign with a label because you always kind of there's there's that whole mindset of is a label going to change the band and i can tell you holy cow uh that's not the case here not with this song this is dynamite uh 100 the sound you can expect from Fight the Fade. Fantastic, excellent guitar work, the drumming, top notch, and uh, Zine, your voice as always, amazing. Yeah, Alyssa, Zine, uh, Brian, Trevor, Tyler, you all are just absolutely killing it here. I'm gonna back up a little bit because this is really excellent. I really, really enjoy it. I love that. What just happened? I feel like metal just mixed with dubstep in a way that I certainly wasn't prepared for. Dude, I've I've never heard something like that. That was crazy. You guys, holy cow, Fight the Fate has really stepped it up a notch here. What 
in the world. I'm going to hear that whole thing again because that was awesome. Let's, 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 let's not waste any time. Let's do this. again <laughs> Dude, that was so good. <laughs> Loved it. Loved it. Everything about that was such a trip. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and see, this is this is why Fight the Fade has solidified themselves in like my top ten favorite bands of all time because they just have this incredible knack for writing super aggressive and catchy music man and they have this blend of electronic elements in their music that is i mean second to none there's there's very few bands that blend it this well where it, trying to delineate between what's the guitar and what's the what's the electronics is um it's blurred all very very well and it's it's oh dude it's so good um Oh, okay, color me, color me impressed. <laughs> we'll put it that way, um, because it was it was it was super good, and I, I appreciate that. Um, you know, the first track they're releasing with a new label is one that is uh, quite. Pr I, maybe masks would be the only song that even rivals the heaviness of this track. Um, or, or sorry, not masks. Um, fall into the sky which i believe was from masks but i think that's probably the only one that even comes close to touching how heavy this is um this was really really stinking good and i really like that every one of them uh, the bass uh drums guitar vocals all of it is playing to their strengths so phenomenally well just oh so good so, okay, the, the thing I find interesting with these lyrics is they are very much, um, like, there's a lot of, a lot of uncertainty. I don't know which way to go. You know, I'm at this, I'm at this crossroads, um, but I'm not staying here. And, uh, you know, there's, uh, he, he's got this kind of where he's going and talking to someone where I see you, um, you know, wiping, wiping your eyes, but you don't know the mess I'm in. You don't know me. And that was like a super key part of the song is you don't, you don't know me. Um, and I, I can't let them tell me who I should be. And I don't know who this them is. I'm going to just, for my own interpretation, I'm going to assume it's just the world. You don't, you don't get to tell me who I am. Other people, you don't get to tell me who I am. And I, I know these guys are very Christian, um, and so I, I, I believe uh, when he says, I will find myself when I find my king, is Zine's way of expressing, I'll figure out who I am once I figure out who he is. 
Like, once I have an understanding, once I have this closeness with him, I'm going to understand, and I will have found myself then. And I think that's smart to a point. Like, it's it's really, well, not even to a point. I just think it's smart because um, from a Christian perspective, we find our identity when we find when when our relationship is rooted in Christ, like that's how we find our identity because He defines it for us. Other people don't. Um, you know, we could we could have success. We could we could be the king, so to speak. But and He asks a good question: Am I going to wear this crown, or am I going to, or am I going to lay it on the floor? Am I am I going to bow to who I say is my King Jesus? Am I going to bow, or am I going to am I going to cut and run? Am I going to take off and just say, no, I'm going to be my king? And and so it's it's an interesting, you see kind of this grappling they're doing where, you know, oh, we're at this, we're at this crossroads. What do we, you know, what direction do we go? And I like that he asserts he's going to find himself when he finds his king. Um, and he says that a couple times. And I, I believe he, this is his way of saying, you know what? I'm not going to be my own king. I'm, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to cut and run. Um, I'm going to submit to the higher authority. And, man, I just, the, the adrenaline in this song, man, this is a pulse-pounding, hard-hitting song that is just so fantastic. And, man, I'm really impressed, and I'm really, really glad I took the time to get into this. Wow. Uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being terrible, 10 being amazing, I'm going to give this song an easy 10 out of 10. So good and very, very well done, very thorough and exciting and uh, gosh, everything just paired so well and complemented each other very well. I just, I really liked it. So good. Uh, glad that Fight the Fade continues the trend of surprising me. Anyway, let me know what you thought about this song. Uh, if you thought it was great, bad, and different, scale of 1 to 10, 1 being terrible, 10 being amazing, where would you rank it? Because I'm interested in hearing from you. And if there are any songs you want me to get into, leave me a comment or send me an email at lyrical.resonance.ia at gmail.com and I will add it to my schedule. Man, this was a lot of fun. Oh, gosh. So good. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you taking your uh, taking the time to do it, taking time out of your day to watch my weird thoughts on a video. Um, if this was your first time watching, again, like I said, thank you. Uh, if you like what you saw, I would really ask that you like the video and then uh, consider subscribing to the channel because where words fail, music does speak, and we're going to continue listening to what it has to say here at Lyrical Resonance. Now, Maybe you should check out one of these videos. Maybe you'll like what you see. Maybe you won't. I don't know. But check one out, and uh, maybe you're going to discover a band you haven't heard, or maybe you just want to hear my thoughts on the song. Either way, go check out one of these songs, and I will see you over there. But until then, stay safe and be blessed. We'll see you soon.